why does every galaxy have a black hole at its center? Does this explain the theory that the universe is a hologram projected by Hawking's radiation called carrying quantum data from the event horizon? Yeah, okay. So let me answer why does every galaxy have a black hole at its center? You are right. Uh, most galaxies that we know of are known to have a supermassive black hole at their centers. So how? So why is it so? How did this come about? So it is uh, the the leading theory for this is that in the very early universe you had quantum fluctuations, which are basically a feature of quantum field theory. The entire uh, Empty space is not empty. It's teeming with quantum fluctuations, particle-antiparticle pairs popping in and out of existence in a very short time frame, etc. So, so in the early universe, in the extremely early universe too, you had these quantum fluctuations, and the universe was so dense, like I said, at that time in the very early uh, phase, that these quantum fluctuations would possibly have caused regions of spatial over densities which would call which would cause microscopic black holes to be formed so it is possible that the early universe saw the birth of an incredibly large amount an abundance of microscopic black holes and it is theorized that it is these microscopic black holes that were the seeds of future galaxies so as the universe expanded and cooled these black holes depending on the size remained uh, remained a, a feature of the universe, the spread across the universe. And it is around these black holes, these micro black holes or primordial black holes, that the first collections of matter began to form. And these eventually became galaxies. And over time, these black holes absorbed a significant portion of the galactic mass. And they slowly uh, became larger and eventually became supermassive in size. So that is the leading theory as of today as to why every galaxy has, a, almost every galaxy that we know of, has a supermassive black hole at the center. So these were possibly, see, uh, the, these probably originated as primordial black hole seeds, like small seeds that grow into something larger and larger over the eons, over the, over the billions of years of the universe's uh, lifespan. So that is a very... That is the leading theories of now. And these primordial black holes are a very interesting concept because they could possibly possibly be part of a significant fraction of the dark matter of the universe. Dark matter is something we still don't have an answer to. So primordial black holes or primordial black hole binaries, for example, or some other configuration could possibly be a component of the missing dark matter of the universe. So it's a it's it's a theory that has a great deal of currency. Uh, people are searching for pri primordial black holes, but thus far we haven't found any evidence or signature of those black holes. People uh, people search for the uh, scientists are searching for the uh, Hawking radiation bursts that a dying primordial black hole would give off. Thus far we haven't found it. It doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. These things don't exist. Maybe they exist in a different form. Maybe they have. Uh, Maybe they have formed binaries of some kind and they have become stable in some manner. We don't know as of now, but it's uh, it's one of the uh, one of the leading theories in in physics in the field of dark matter as well as 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 an explanation for these supermassive black holes that we find at the center of almost every galaxy we know of.